All right, so here's the first two measures give the bass line that you hear pretty much throughout this arrangement. So you have the open four, open five, the B second fret, second fret sixth string, third fret, open four, third fret on the sixth string, and then open five. So again, it sounds like this. the next two measures, the melody comes in. You have that same bass line, but the melody comes in. And then open. And then you have this. Alright, so slowly those four measures sound like this. Alright, measure five and six. The melody repeats, but this time it repeats in thirds. So you have these two notes there, the second and first string, and then it goes open plus the second fret, second string, and then it goes to here, and then it goes to here, and then, and then just a single note, and then. So with the bass line, it's gonna sound like this. Now there is a spot in measure five between the second and third chords you have a guide finger. So you start off here, so middle finger there, second finger can go up to the third fret as a guide finger. So it goes there and then you add the third finger there. So you have this. Now if you look at measure seven, the melody speeds up by turning it into eighth notes. So measure seven you have middle finger there, first finger this, here, here, third finger, and then just keep that middle finger down and put the first finger on that second fret right there. So that measure slowly goes like this. That melody continues with the eighth notes uh, in measures eight, nine, and ten. So you're gonna go, you start off here, and then open second, and then here, here, and then I go to the third position. Bit of a stretch, but seventh fret, and then the pinky goes down, second fret there. So slowly that that measure goes like this. Measure nine, we have second fret on the first string to there, and then open, second fret. And then you're gonna go like this. So the move is here from here to there. So third finger goes to that third fret, first finger goes to the second fret, fifth string. And then middle finger, and you go up to the fifth fret, and then down an octave. So that measure is gonna go. here, open, and then, third finger, 
then you have this. If you take a look at that last beat of measure 10, we have a dotted eighth note 16. So that is where the rhythm changes a little bit. Where you have the eighth notes. So that dotted eighth note 16th is long, short. So I'll do the rhythm for that measure. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and ah. Uh. So again, one and two and three and four and ah. Uh. So one more time with the notes, we have this. Then measure 11 will become even faster with the 16th notes. And for here in the arrangement, sometimes I don't include the bass note. They are implied in the upper notes. But again, I'm trying to keep this a fairly easy arrangement. Measure 11, so we're gonna go uh, open four. Second finger starts on that third fret second string. So you have open four, and then third finger, first finger, and then first finger shifts over. So it goes like this. And then open. Back to that D, which is third fret, second string. So that last beat goes. So first finger, second finger, Then you're gonna hit the third fret on the first string with the open third. And then open four. And then. So measure 12 slowly goes like this. Measure 13, we're going to start on the open four. So you've got open four, and then second fret, and then fourth fret, open third, and then here. So if you look at the second beat of that measure, I, I keep my second finger down. So I'm going to go here, and then first finger, and then keep the second finger down, and then I take it off. Then we go fourth fret on that fourth string, open second, and then. Now for the most part, we're staying in the second position. This is in the key of D major. And so D major, you often will be in the second position because you have the C sharp here and also the F sharp there. You have an F sharp here, and it's just easier if you're in this position than if you're down here. In fact, there are no notes on the first fret that are in the key of D. All right, measure 13 slowly again. Measure 14, open. And then second fret, open second string. Second fret on the second string. Measure 15, we've got this. So we've just had a couple measures where we have 16th notes. Now we're starting to slow down again. So we have, for this one beat, we have just eighth notes. So you wanna make sure that you slow down and don't play those eighth notes too fast. So if I start the beat before, we have this. That's how those eighth notes would sound. And then you have open five, open one. Second fret, fifth string, third finger. And then we have this. Now if it's easier, you can play it as a bar, 
covering all, but I will tend to play it like that. So if you look at measure 16, we're here, and then here, here. And then I just take that third finger and move it up to the ninth, and then my pinky grabs the 10, which is the D. So you do that plus the open four. And then here, here, here. So I'm just sliding my third finger down uh, for those three beats, for those last three beats in that measure. We have here, third finger, goes down to the seventh, goes down to the fifth, and then finally goes down to the third in measure 18. And then we have this, here, open. And then first fret, open four. And this is just a repeat of what we had at the beginning. And then it ends with just that bass line. 